Why do video game trees look so ugly? Simply put, foliage is expensive. And in terms of game design, it's pretty low on the list of things that need to look really, really good. Not only that, trees in real life contain tens of thousands of leaves and hundreds of branches that each move independently. So creating a tree with individual leaves in a video game has never really been feasible in the first place. So instead, these leaves are faked using 2D textures called alpha cards. In video game development, an alpha card is a texture used to create grass or other vegetation in a game world. Alpha cards are designed with transparency information, where the black areas are transparent and the white areas are opaque. This allows developers to control which parts of the texture are visible and which are transparent, making it possible to create a wide range of visual effects. For example, if you're trying to create a grassy field, you can use alpha cards to simulate the appearance of individual blades of grass. By using different textures and varying the sizes and orientations of the alpha cards, you can create the illusion of randomness and complexity, making the field look much more natural. When it comes to making trees, we have the same problem as creating grass fields. It doesn't make sense to create tens of thousands of individual leaves for potentially thousands of trees, which would result in your PC bursting into flames the second you booted up The Witcher 3. So we have to use alpha cards. Alpha cards are really handy for creating dense canopies of leaves. By creating a handful of leaf textures and scattering them across branches using a particle system, you can achieve a somewhat realistic appearance without having to model and render each leaf individually. While it doesn't look perfect, one of the advantages of using alpha cards is that they provide a high degree of flexibility. For example, if you decide to adjust the density of the foliage or change the leaf texture you're using, you can easily make these changes without having to rework the entire model. But this still doesn't look good, does it? Now this, this is much better. This is just one of the trees our students make in our course, the Environment Artist Survival Kit, where we show you how to create optimized trees that look great using techniques like leaf animation with noise, custom normals, and even sub-surf scattering to give your trees that extra sparkle. You'll also learn everything else environment art related, like flowing fluffy grass and massive sweeping landscapes. So click the link in the description to check out our course. Now, Thomas, you may want to ask, if using alpha cards is so much cheaper, Surely we can use as many as we want to make trees look nice and full, right? Right? I'd like to introduce you to the bane of my bandwidth, the Frankenstein of my frame rate, Overdraw. Overdraw occurs when the graphics hardware of a computer or gaming console has to draw the same pixel multiple times within a single frame. This happens when multiple objects or textures need to be drawn on top of each other, and the graphics hardware needs to redraw the same pixel for each layer of the image. Meaning, the more you try to layer alpha cards into your tree, the worse your performance will become. So, this is why trees in video games look ugly. Not only are we using 2D textures to represent entire leaves, but designers can't even use that many of these cards due to overdraw, resulting in very naked and sad looking trees. Now, for some games, this is fine. Massive multiplayer FPS shooters like Apex Legends don't need perfect looking trees, so this is a good solution for them. And lots of new gen games like Horizon do their very best to ensure these techniques are optimized to the max, resulting in impressive trees and foliage. But even Horizon is limited by the same issues we talked about earlier. So what's the solution? Well, I don't know, but we can take a very educated guess. In Ghosts of Tsushima, the developers used something called GPU instancing to create their grass fields, meaning each blade of grass has its own geometry and animations, with no alpha cards required. Theoretically, this technique could be used to populate leaf meshes on trees, giving them their own colors, shapes, and animations, giving us a genuinely impressive looking tree. So will we see fully GPU instance trees and other foliage in the future, or will a new undiscovered technique take its place? Let me know what you think in the comments. So yeah, trees are pretty cool.